Hey, hey, you guys, it's your favorite little keto goofball slash guru, Keto Diamond, and today is day 925 of my ketogenic journey, going from a former adult BBW model down to a healthy, happy keto cutie. Hard to believe I used to weigh 311 pounds many years before baby Athena came along. This is our youngest grandchild and our only granddaughter. Isn't she cute? I'm going to show you some pictures with her eyes open in just a minute. Happy? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Beautiful. Is she not pretty? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell, guys and dolls. I'll show you everything I know about keto every single day, including taking you on my entire journey on a daily basis. You can see my ups, downs, and all arounds. I'm going to show you what I ate. I'm going to show you some gorgeous baby stuff, and then I'll be right back with a chit-chat and a weigh-in. Now let's rant and rave and misbehave. Grandma Diamond style. <laughs> Interesting thing, three days ago, tornadoes. Yesterday, bright and sunny, cold as hell because it was windy. Today, gray and snowing. Welcome North to North Carolina, y'all. Two cups of French vanilla coffee this morning with unsweetened vanilla almond milk and monk fruit sweetener. Hey guys, so this is technically my breakfast meal. I did have a pickle before I left the house to come here. I am so thrilled that you can eat this yummy, delicious, fatty, high protein meal um, on keto and lose weight it's so amazing so i've got a double baconator with some mayonnaise no bun of course i've got a side salad with two packs of ranch and a diet cherry vanilla dr pepper you guys so i'm full and i did not eat all the bunny rabbit food before i broke my fast today i had one pickle afterwards we had one slim fast fat bomb later in the day we had a parmesan oh i had a parmesan cheese crisp packet and a piece of monterey jack cheese I had two servings of keto nut butter with MCT oil. This is supposed to be macadamia nuts, um, almonds, cashews, coconut butter, MCT oil from coconuts, and sea salt. What's confusing is only 10 grams of fat, and with MCT oil and macadamia nuts, there should be more fat than that. It is 3 grams of carbohydrates, uh, less than 1 gram of sugar, 2 from fiber, and I think, yeah, there we go, two grams of protein. It tastes all right, but it's done like crunchy peanut butter, so it's not like um, like creamy or anything. Well, thank you to Miss Angie Bennett for sending this to me. She's also the lady that sends me um, a package of performance nut butter every month. And um, uh, she sent my planner and all the stuff to go with the planner. So it's super cool of her. Thank you so much again, girl. She is such a sweetheart. Um, this right here, it, it's not as good as my performance nut butter by any means, but it, it's pretty decent. My daughter's been looking for her glasses and I go into the washing machine and I'm not quite sure how this happened but somehow her eyeglasses are weaved into my sweater <laughs> well that's crazy so I don't know how those glasses managed this but they have tore my sweater all to pieces there's multiple holes <laughs> I don't know how I did it check out baby Anthony and Athena hi hi what are you doing? You standing up between Grandma's legs and being good, boo Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Grandma brought you a girly rattle before we knew he was a boy, didn't we? Hey, here. Hey, no, you can't go that way. You can't go that way. The water. Anthony, hi. What are you doing? What? You ain't going over there. You know the water bowl's over there. No, you can't get to the water bowl. <laughs> Hi. Boo. Where'd you go? Anthony. Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. Hi, baby. I just went outside, and he's going to surprise Anthony through the little hole that Anthony ripped in the tape. Um, he did it a while ago, and Anthony was just so confused. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. 
Anthony. He's <laughs> like, you can't see me down here. Hi. No, he came back. Hi. When his daddy came back in a while ago, he looked around like, how, how did this happen? I don't understand this. Good morning. Hey, you. You were looking at me, and I pull out the camera, and you're going to stop? Athena. Come on. I saw the eyeballs. Athena. Look at Granny. Athena. Oh, she is not interested. Brian was talking about that she has. Hi. Oh, hey, my baby. Oh, there's some eyeballs on camera. Oh, <laughs> All right, you guys, I had to give her back to mama. They're getting ready to go off. So, tell you what, I think I'm getting ready to go lighter blonde. What do you think? This looks beautiful. <laughs> but that, my hair has never been this dark in my life, and it feels weird to me when I look in camera. It's kind of odd. Um, I actually stopped putting any kind of dye or anything on it just to see what color it is. And, of course, it's this dirty blonde, light brown color, um, which I've been a blonde all my life. So, again, it's weird. But I wanted to see if I had any gray. And it's just not turning gray. I'm waiting for it to turn gray. That way I can just dye it silver and be happy with it. <laughs> this is not doing it when I want to. Like your beard. Got gray spots. This is kind of cool. What do they call it? Distinguished? <laughs> anyway. Oh, did you see those babies? I just love them. It, it's like I can just eat them up. Mm. Um, so we're back on track. We've had some moments here and there being off. We've tried some other things. I'm honestly not sure how that nut butter is going to work out. My nose and sinuses did tighten up, but it could have been something in the salad that I just made. Y'all see what I ate today, tomorrow, but um, something messed with my sinuses a little bit. I don't feel like swollen. I don't feel kicked, but something did react. I'm just not sure what it was yet. And uh, that nut butter, <laughs> have you have you went to the potty yet? Mm -mm. Yeah, that don't digest too well. <laughs> it's, it's like corn. I'm not even joking. Um, I guess it's because they left the little crispy, crunchy pieces in there. I was like, oh, that looks weird. Um, but anyway, we're back on track. We went to the gym last night. And if you want to see our, our ketogenic gym journey, go over to Mr. Katie's Keto of Fitness. The link is in the description below. And you can see our description, uh, our, our gym workout, all that good stuff. You can hear about it and all that. Um, plus some more goofy, silly stuff. <laughs> but um I do think I'm gonna change my my um I was watching some stuff about walking today and how good it is for your heart healthy all that stuff good for your blood pressure and all that and what's recommended is 30 minutes a day and I've been doing 25 minutes a day which I, I don't imagine is that much different but I do think I might up my my treadmill action at 30 minutes a day 30 minutes huh I could have told you that well pff, <laughs> you didn't Mr. We always do 25. What's well, five more minutes? Because I don't need to do cardio. Well, I do. And you, you know, I mean, I'm different. We're on different paths and different journeys, okay? What he's trying to do is a little bodybuilding to build this bird chest up, right? It's not quite a bird chest now. I can get me a handful of booby. <laughs> okay, peck, whatever. Um, get a little bit of, what do you call that, bicep over there? My arms look so great as long as you can't see everything. <laughs> Oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. By the way, a lot of you have asked me about Jen from Life by Jen. Now, as you know, I'm trying to help her on keto. She has been down. She's been sick. She had some back injury and, and some issues. I don't know where she's sitting on her keto journey right now, but wherever she's sitting, whenever she's back, whenever she's ready, if she has failed, if she has not, I am still here to help her regardless. Because again, I know a lot of people stuck in these cycles of do well, screw up, screw it. Do well, screw up, screw it. You know, I, I know people stuck in these cycles. Ain't nobody perfect, right? I, I mean, oh, you are? Mm -hmm. Did I not have to drag you to the gym yesterday? Probably drag you out too. of bed, make you wake up. He took a nap while I go to, by the way. I didn't take a nap. Grandpa is I catching awake. up. Well, you was awake. Yeah. Uh huh. Your eyes didn't even flicker open when I was taking my shirt off. I wasn't awake. No, you were. Yeah, I know you wasn't because you would have looked. You would have been like, hmm. <laughs> he always is. Um, we had a little snacky yesterday. We only had one actual meal, right? Or do you remember? 
Because I'm pretty sure you've ate all the strawberries over last night and today. I did. Yeah, I thought you might have. Um, which I can't get by with that many strawberries. But he seems to be lucky enough to eat as many strawberries as he wants to. This mirror is playing with my eyes. I'm seeing like four of you. <laughs> I was like, which what am I looking at? Uh, anyway, so we got snacky. And we didn't actually eat a meal. Now, I didn't eat any of the strawberries. I don't know that anything affected me last night but maybe because i felt like i said a little sinusy but it cleared out and then this morning after i ate i got a little sinusy and it cleared out so uh i think we'll stick with regular meals today although you haven't even ate a meal today because you were snacky this morning that's my journey again his journey is more fitness mine is weight loss and fitness and just getting overall healthier and thinner um, I'm not in a big, big hurry because I am happy with the way I look. I don't think I look too, too bad. Although I still got that <clears throat> weight I want to lose, right? I was saying how you look. <laughs> I look. Don't look down there. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> he got pancake boobies now. Uh, <laughs> I've been spring cleaning all morning. That's why this video is going to be late. It's already like 4.20. I usually have my video up before 3. Um, somewhere between noon and 3. But... I've been cleaning my butt off. I was letting the babies run around and play. They had, well, Anthony was having a good time. Zach said his other grandmas. I do want to mention again before I weigh in, and I'm getting ready to weigh in right now, but a lot of people send me like their foods list, what they're eating. And, and every time they're like, you know, I'm, nothing's happening. Nothing's doing well. Now I know what's happening to me. I know what slows me down and what stalls me. Anytime I try anything new or I go on a little bit of a cheat here, a cheat there, a cheat here, a cheat there, new product here, new product there, a cheat here. That's what slows me down. That's what stalls me. So I know what's doing it. I, I just get bored. And I've been doing this for two and a half years. So I get bored quite frequently. But I need to get myself on track. However, the reason I bring this up is almost everybody who emails me the list of the foods they are eating other than meat, cheese, eggs, and green leafy vegetables are including things like Bang Energy Drinks, um, the sugar-free Russell Stover's. These things are really not keto friendly. Now, some people, some people can get by with them. He seems to be okay with the monsters, which are sweet and circulous, and they don't seem to bother him. Um, but the bangs and uh, the sugar-free candies, these are not necessarily good for you if you're on a weight loss journey, okay? Stuff like, now, I can get by with or seem to be fine with, like, the uh, keto slim fast fat bombs, the peanut butter ones. Um, but I can't touch the Russell Stover's or I go up three pounds. So... Be mindful of these things, and if you're using extra things, extra sweeteners, different candies, different this, that, and the others, if you're not losing, remove them from your diet for a week or two. See if your weight starts to go down, and if it does, you can add one thing back in at a time, and if your weight goes up the next morning, you need to drop that thing and try another product in a couple of days. So, your best bet is trial and error. It's try it. If your weight goes up, drop it. Try it again in a week. If your weight goes up, this this item's not going to work for you. And like circulose for me, <laughs> massive migraine. Took me forever to figure out what was causing this, what was causing the weight fluctuations and the migraines and, and being kicked out of ketosis because these things were keto friendly. They're really not. Or at least they're really not for the vast majority of people. Some people will be fine with them, but trial, trial and error. See what works out for you. Now, let me go ahead and pop my way in here. So, yesterday, 174.2. Today, 172 on the dot. 2.2 pounds gone. Thank heavens. Which, <laughs> I'm so glad that that Wendy's Baconator and the salads are keto-friendly for me. Um, because it's a good feeling, filling, wonderful meal, really. What do you think about it? Mm. Never had it so much. No, we have had it a lot. That is true. But it is a safe go-to meal. But it is safe. And it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's good, yeah. He's just had it too much. He's like, all right, I don't know, Wendy's. Uh, yeah, I know, trust me. Because sometimes I have that same same issue. But once I've had another one, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're good again. I forgot. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very pleased that I went down 2.2. Um, if the, the nut butter affected me last night, I'm not sure. It didn't affect my weigh-in. But then again, I was holding a lot of water weight to whoosh out, too. I still am holding a lot. See, I'm, my lowest is 167.2, and I'm 172. So that's like right at five pounds of water weight. And I do this to myself on and off. And, but again, we're back on track. We're back at the gym. 
we're back on keto real good and steady and I'm going to try to keep mine more strict keto. I'm just going to let him do his sweets thing with the junk keto products and the strawberries. I'm going to have to get more serious regardless of what he does. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're way lost, Danny. I don't like him. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I'm going to rush him out the door to fix the flat tire on my truck. Like a big, strong, manly man. I'm going to take a big, strong man for hiring a tire. You can do it. Fix my damn truck. <laughs> anyway, much love to you guys and dolls. Let me know if you need help. I help everybody do keto for free. My contact information is below. Or visit ketodiamond.com. Did you do it again? No, I'm hot. I'm on too. <laughs> KetoDiamond.com. Free foods list, beginner's guide, everything I know about keto is just sitting there. Nothing to join, nothing to sign up for. He's getting out of here because he's hot. And uh, don't forget to check the products below. There are Shashka bracelets, which I still need to mail out Miss Pooh Bears. I'm going to probably get to that tomorrow, hopefully. And um, as long as nothing crazy pops off again. And uh, what else? Uh, you can get you some performance nut butter. You can get you a 15% off. Keto Mojo if you want one. You don't need none of this stuff to do keto. Understand that? If you want them, they're down there. Most stuff is discounted. So, check it out. Much love to you guys and dolls. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.